Hello and thanks for visiting. Today we're going to go over how to punch down a networking patch panel. Now don't forget to also check out our YouTube channel for other videos as far as uh, like how to make an Ethernet cable or how to terminate fiber optic cable, product videos, anything low voltage networking. Check us out. Other than that, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with our Cat5V cable. Now this is a four pair, 24 gauge cable. And let's go ahead and tools you're going to need. One of the tools is a pair of electrician snips. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead and cut some of this off. Now once the jacket is removed, you'll notice there's a pull string in here. We're going to want to pull some of that back. Now the reason why we're pulling some of this back is uh, sometimes with your snips around the point of your cut you'll cut into the the sheath over the copper conductor and we don't want that we want to avoid that so we're gonna go ahead and pull this jacket down we're gonna cut a piece of the jacket down over here and then we're gonna trim some of this off now as you notice we have four pairs of cable we have a blue pair, an orange pair, a brown pair, and a green pair. Now let's get to our patch panel. Now we have a 24 port patch panel in front of us, CAT5V. You'll notice that there is a color code on the back of this panel. Now there is a color code of 568B and 568A. Figure out what you want your wiring to be, but the more common one nowadays is 568B. Now this is a 110 patch panel. This is a side view of it. And I want you to notice that there's eight positions here. When we untwist our four pairs, we're gonna have eight conductors left. And this is where we're gonna lace our patch panels into. The conductors are gonna slide right in there where there's this little V groove that'll hold our cable in place. Now we have our four pairs of cable here. Go ahead and untwist the pairs. There we go. Now we have eight conductors of cable. Let's get back to the patch panel. Okay, so on our patch panel, as I've mentioned before, there's two types of pinout, the A and the B. We're gonna wire it up with the 568B pinout. On our copper conductors, we will go ahead and follow the colored cable to the coloring on the back of the patch panel. So this would be considered your solid blue. It would go in the solid blue slot. This is your blue-white, we'd lace it down in the white-blue. Same thing goes for the orange pair, the green pair, and the brown pair. Okay, so before we start lacing our cable into our patch panel, you, you might be tempted to start lacing it on the right, the blue pair, or the brown pair. Typically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start in the middle and keep your cable right here keep it in the middle. Reason being is to ensure category 5E transmission performance you should not untwist the paired conductors more than half an inch. So if you were to start way over here on the blue side your brown pair might suffer some uh, speed there when you put it on your certifier when you lace it down. Now let's continue the process here. There you have it. Now keep in mind you have your blue white to your blue white here, your solid blue to your solid blue, white orange to your white orange, orange to your orange, the green pair and the brown pair and so on. As I said, just match the color coding on the cable conductors here. Match it with the 568B pinout or the A if that's what you're doing. Center your cable to the middle of your 110 
so that way the pairs, the conductors, aren't more than half an inch untwisted. Now let's get to punching it down. Okay, so what you're going to need is an impact tool. You'll notice it has a high and low setting. We're going to put it on the high setting. It's already on there. And the blade you're going to need, you're going to need a 110 blade. Okay, now you'll notice on your 110 blade, one part of it is a little bit pointier and sharper. That's the point that's going to go ahead and cut the end of the cable that we don't need off the 110. Now, don't forget, we also have these patch panels online, Cat 5E, Cat 6, Shielded, all kinds of stuff you can go ahead and order there. Now, with your 110 blade, you're going to want to go ahead and line it up in the proper slot and go ahead and give it a push down. And move on to the next conductor. And there you go. It's going to be the same exact process for the next port and the next. Just go ahead and follow that 568B or a wire and color code that you're doing. Now you can go ahead and order all this stuff online. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like us on Facebook. Thank you.